So hi everyone, welcome to Discovery Natural. Um, if you're watching this on YouTube, thank you so much for watching it. You're gonna get the best experience by going over to my face, um, my Amazon page. I want to say Facebook, Amazon page, and clicking the follow button and going to that website. That is the best way that you get a, the best experience. And I'm also gonna drop it in the comment area. So with that being said, we're gonna start very very soon um i hope you guys are having a wonderful day i know it has been a while since i have been live but you know better late than never right so please go over to my amazon page click the follow i'm dropping it for you all right there and we'll get started thank you so much this is what the page will look like right here and um feel free to click on follow so we're gonna start right now so let's get started Hi everyone, welcome everyone. Today we're going to be doing something. I'm going to be telling you some things, some things, <laughs> some tips on how to keep your hair moisturized, on some tips on dry hair, things that you can do. I'll be showing you some products that can help you, giving you suggestions on products, okay? So we've not done this in a while. We've not gone live in a while. So if you're coming and you're watching this and you just want to watch this for maybe 10 minutes and you're like, oh, why is this so long? It is because this is a live. Welcome to Amazon Live, Amazon Live, wherever you're watching from. My name is Shola and this is Discovery Natural Platform. You can, I'm also going to be doing my makeup <laughs> so that I can look a little bit alive to you guys. So feel free to leave a comment. Hi, Rosalind. Uh, Rose, oh, I say Rosalind. Rosa Loman. TV, Rose Loman TV. Thank you so much for joining. So you all, if you're joining, uh, welcome, welcome. So welcome to the live and feel free to share this live. If you know, um, if you don't know, I have several platforms. You can find me on Amazon, Amazon live stream. I go live on Amazon sporadically. <laughs> so I want to try going live every Friday on Amazon. You can also find me on YouTube as Discovery Natural. Also this Instagram, Facebook, wherever, Pinterest, anywhere you see me, I love going live and I love interacting with you. You can also join my Facebook group called Discovery Natural Group where you get one-on-one -on -one help for your hair. Okay, so let's get started. Thank you so much, Colette. Colette, welcome to the live. If you're joining on Amazon, if you look down, you'll be able to see the products that I'm showing. I will also be popping out those products for you online. So let's start off with doing my makeup. As I'm doing my makeup, I'll be sharing with you um, things that have helped me with keeping my hair staying moisturized. If you have suggestions, you can always share those suggestions. So I just moisturize my hair with my Vaseline Lip Therapy. This is my favorite. You can get it on our Amazon shop right over here. Let's pop it up on the screen. Yeah, so right over there on our Amazon shop. When you get on our Amazon shop, a couple of things. Let me show you how this page will look like when you come on this page. So when you come on the Amazon page, Discovery Natural, so it is amazon.com slash shop slash discovery natural. When you come on there, you see the follow button. So this is the follow button and you want to click on that follow button so that whenever I go live, you'll be able to see everything I show whenever I put out new products. And even if Amazon has some deals going on, I let you all know. So whenever I'm live, it's going to pop up as the first area right over here. You can also view shoppable um, pictures. So for example, I've been MIA because of my husband's health, but I also show you some things going on. You can buy products if you want. I tell you how the products is working on my hair, my daughter's hair. And then also you do have videos. What these videos are, they're known as Amazon Shorts. Okay, Amazon Video Shorts. They're very, very short 
videos. Okay, so this one was not a bit short, but most of my videos I keep a few seconds long, except if they're full demonstrations. So different array of videos you'll be able to view. Next, you see different categories. In these categories, you'll be able to get different selections of things, um, that you want to purchase. If you do want purchase, if you are into YouTube merchandise, you can also purchase those merchandise. So everything that I use and some things that I use in the house and even for exercising, I show them on here. So feel free to check it out. I really appreciate you guys. And with that being said, let's start off with the makeup, okay? So the makeup I'm going to use today, I will start off with my e.l.f. This is my e.l.f. and this is the e.l.f. Spice. It's the e.l.f. Foundation. And I'm going to start off using this on my eye. On my eye. <laughs> I'm not using it on my eye, people. I'm not using it on my eye. I'm using it on my face. And I'm going to use my Beauty Blender. It's a bit dirty, but we'll just, we'll just live with it. So what I normally do... I don't know how you guys do this, but what I normally do is I just put it on my eye. Now, are you someone that struggle with your, your hair getting dry? So if you're someone that you struggle with dry hair, a couple of things. The very first thing I want you to be aware of is that it is possible that your dry hair is just due to you not hydrating. Water. Water is the very first thing. So let's start off. With drinking our water, water is not only um, good for your hair, because a lot of people will put water in your hair in their hair. Water is not only good for their hair, your hair, it's also very, very good for um, uh, overall health, okay? So this is my water. I don't know, I always do this. And my daughter is like, don't be putting water on your beauty blender. And I'm like, I have to. I just have to because I feel like the beauty blender is a bit dry. And if I don't put water, I don't feel that it smears really, really well. Okay. Um, yeah, I don't feel that it smears really, really well. So I'm just going to pop this in. So how have you guys been? It is Friday. I'm so glad it's Friday. Um, if you are dealing with dry hair, apart from water, you might wonder, so what else can you be doing? So let's assume you're washing your hair, right? And you wash your hair with a surface shampoo. Now, a surface shampoo is one that can really, really strip your hair. So you don't want to use a surface shampoo when you're washing your hair without using a moisturizing deep conditioner. So it's crucial for you to use a moisturizing deep conditioner when after you use a sulfate shampoo. Now, if you're someone that uses sulfate-free shampoo, it's also important to use a moisturizing deep conditioner, okay? So the first thing that I showed you on the, I'm gonna highlight for you is of course, moisture. Moisture in the hair starts with a liquid. So I'll bring up the liquid um, product that I'm highlighting today. I actually saw this product online and I was just like, oh my goodness, I'm so glad. I'm like ecstatic that Amazon has it. If you guys have never tried it before, give it a try. Um, this is the As I Am Jamaican black castor oil water. So you can use ordinary water. Of course, you can use plain water. You can also use aloe vera juice when it comes to, um, when it comes to moisturizing your hair. Aloe vera juice works perfectly. So this is the, as I am, Jamaican castor oil, oil water. So this is the oil water. I actually like making a little combination of the, uh, which one? I, I like a combination of black tea mixed with some oil mix. That is my favorite. But this one is a little one. It's okay. If you guys don't like DIY, you might as well go with this. So this is really good. Uh, I want to say hi to Christy. Christy from Cleveland. How are you? Hi, Jerry. How are you, Jerry? Welcome, welcome, welcome. So nice to see you. Oh, let me send Jerry some emoji. Jerry, that's my heart to yours. Thank you, Cherry, for chiming in on Amazon Live. I appreciate it. So I just finished 
putting on my foundation, um, my concealer. I'm going to be using my Milan. So this is my Milani. So this is the Milani um, cream foundation. There are different ones that you can find online, but the one I gravitate towards, this is my two, my color is 292. My color is 292. So it's going to tone down. Now, I went for a long walk today with my daughter. It was so hot. It was absolutely so hot. So I need, my color has been so off lately. So I just need to like tone it down with this foundation so that I can look a little bit not like the walking dead. Because <laughs> sometimes I'll put on makeup some days when I'm not in the mood to put on makeup. And I'm like, what did I just do? Really, what did I just do? Oh my goodness. Thank you so much. Oh, wow. See, got to put out the glasses. So Cynthia says, this is our first time. Hi, Cynthia. Oh, Sharon. Hi, Sharon. Sharon is so lovely. Sharon is like, it's good to see you again. Sharon was with me this morning. Sharon was with me this morning. Thank you, Sharon. So I'm just kind of, I was going to do this this morning when I was live, but I got sidetracked by my daughter with an impromptu. Mommy, can we go for an early morning work? And I'm like, mm, sure. So the first key thing, let's go back to talking about the hair. The first key thing that you want to do is you do want to first use liquid in your hair. Tip number one, use liquid in your hair. Um, and first, also liquid in your body. You got to drink that water. I know it is hard, but you got to drink that water. You really have to. Um, so, okay. So we've done this and stuff. Let me tell you my makeup. My makeup are very, very basic. I don't go overboard with the makeup. I just try and just put something just to cover up the pores. I hate putting on makeup in the summer because it just get. I live in Houston, Texas. And if you know Texas, it's hot. Even while I'm here, one of the things that I do, I also have this fan thing I attach to my phone and I still get hot, <laughs> okay? So we have finished the foundation. The next thing I'm going to use now is my blush. Okay, let's set that aside. So I use the sponge and I'm gonna use my blush, bit scattered brain hair. So let's get my blush. My blush kind of gives me a little bit of color on my cheek. So I'm going to take this blush. And this is also the e.l.f. blush. And let's get a mirror so that I don't look like a clown when I'm done. And I'm just going to tap, pat, tap, 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 pat, 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 pat. And I think it just gives a little bit of color. I'm not being extra with it because your girl doesn't want to look like a clown. <laughs> so... Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. If I tone down the light, you'll be able to see even more, you know, a little bit more color, okay? So just a little bit highlight right over there. You see that? Highlight right over there. So we're done with water. So after water, um, the next thing is the moisturizer use. Now, tip, another tip I'll tell you. Hi, silly mommy for life. How are you doing? Oh, you are based in Austin, Texas. Wow, Austin, Texas. I went there once. I love it. So artistic. I like that. I think there's this river that kind of runs through some places. It's, oh, we like the museum. They had this children's, was it the children's museum? Very, very nice. Very, very nice museum. So yeah. So I'm, I've done the blush thing. <laughs> I'm such a um, makeup on. I'm, I'm an amateur when it comes to makeup. I just put it on. I don't really care. I just kind of put it on. Um, I'm going to use, I was going to use my primer, but I decided not to. So let me take a little break from putting on makeup and tell you some more tips about moisturizing your hair. So a couple more tips about moisturizing your hair. You know, when you don't drink enough water, mm -hmm, your inside is already dehydrated. More or less talk about your hair. It's summer. Drink your water next. So that was tip number one, drink your water. Tip number one is also spray your, your hair with some liquid. So this is like an herbal tea I have in here. It is liquid, liquid, water, 
aloe vera juice, all this juice is liquid. So spray your hair with the liquid, okay? Next, you want to select the cream. You notice I didn't talk about oils because people have this misconception that oils are moisturizers. Oils are not moisturizers. Let me just get it out of that way. Oils are not moisturizers. But you notice the first product I showed you, which was the As I Am Oil Water. This first product, you notice it was a combination of oil and water. Now you might say, okay, why do, how did, uh, how do they do it? Oil and water do not mix what happens before you use it. Always shake it. It's as simple as that. Um, I see someone asking, someone says, so live lively. Hi, lively. He says, hi, ladies. Hi, lively. So lively. And Asia, hi, Asia from Congo. Um, lively said, Woo! let's just stop. Let's just stop and give really, really just started following us on Amazon Live and it's splashing here. Really is following us. So, of course, I need to do my boop, 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 boop. <laughs> So, thank you so much, really. Thank you so much for following us. You are amazing. And really, if you don't know, you can also follow us all over the place. Just search for Discovery Natural and I will come up and my daughters will come up. My husband comes up once in a while, but lately the man has been on that. You know, he's been like, hmm, I don't feel like coming up. <laughs> but yeah, so really so that she started using grease again, Blue Magic uh, and to see our hair response. This is something, let's put on our glasses. She says, this is something that was used in my hair a lot when I was younger and my hair was always healthy and long until I hit my pretense. Now, let me just throw a little curve, a little thing under that comment. The thing is this, okay? Something, the thing is this, with, um, with using grease in your hair, one thing that you should know is that the grease that you are using when you are younger, a lot of things were different. Um, some people find that they've been using grease in their hair when they were younger, and now that they're older, they find out that it's not working right. So it could happen. And as you are older, different things also go on with your hair. So you have hormones to deal with, you have stress <laughs> to deal with, you also have you not caring for your hair well, you not caring for your body well, what you eat and all that factor. Now, I talk mainly about, um, hi, hello, Amazonian. Hi, everyone. Hi. So Amazonian is here. Let me give her love. Thank you so much for coming. So a couple of things is this. I mentioned liquid, okay? Not everybody can use hair grease. For me, I can't do hair grease. My hair will just be greasy, greasy. I'll be like the let your soul glow kind of lady. I cannot do that. So after the liquid, I have to use a moisturizer. I'm not going to use oils. Oils are no moisturizers. You can use the liquid. You can take your oil and then you can use your cream and see how that works. Okay. So, um, Iconic keyboard says, how do you know if your hair is dry and if, or if it's just coarse, you feel it. You have to teach yourself how to feel your hair. For me, I know when my hair is dry, when I'm feeling it and it doesn't have that moist feel. You know, I always make fun of my daughters, my youngest daughter. I'm always like, girl, you got clampy hands. You know, and that is kind of dewy, you know, that dewy feel, it takes learning. That is why it's important for you not to 100% rely on someone else to care for your hair. In between someone caring for your hair, learn to touch your hair. Don't just put it in braids and forget it. That is how you learn how to care for your hair. So let's move on. A moisturizer. There are different kinds of moisturizers out, out there. So the moisturizer that I'm highlighting to you, this is the TGIN uh, moisturizer, okay? I'm going to pop it up on the screen, and I'm also going to show you. So this is the TGIN moisturizer right over here. Now, this moisturizer, key thing that you should look for when you're looking at a moisturizer First of all, the moisturizer should start with water. Now, if it doesn't start with water, case in point, hair grease. You are just using it as a sealant. It's a sealant. It's sealing in whatever was on the hair before. So if your hair was um, wet with the water, 
and use a hair grease is just locking it in. If your hair is wet with the water and you used, um, what they call it, you use like a shea butter, you are just locking in the hair, hair with whatever moisture. So you might feel that your hair might quickly get drier. The moisture might not last long. Now, why is a moisturizer, why is that very important? Now, different kind of moisturizers, um, different kind of moisturizers are there. So there's daily moisturizers, they're just plain old moisturizers. Living conditioners, they are moisturizers although also, although you have to be very careful so that they're not protein filled. There are some products that when you use them and they contain a ton of protein, what's going to happen is that not only will it strengthen your hair because the job of a protein treatment or protein in your hair products, the job is to strengthen your hair. So not only is this strengthening your hair, but if your hair is already dry and if your hair has protein sensitivity, what's going to happen is that it's going to cause your hair to be dry and brittle. So if you're someone that you're like, oh boy, I moisturize my hair every single day. What are you using? Oh, I'm using this blah, blah, blah product. What is the ingredient? Oh, the ingredient is water, hydrolyzed protein, rice protein, um, silk protein, da -da -da protein, oh, glycerin, oh, coconut oil. It's possible that you have a protein overload. It is possible that you have a protein overload. So let us go and um, you're welcome, Sharon. Sharon says, thank you, lovely. So next time I wash my hair, um, I'm just going to put grease on my hair strand to put, you can put no oil on the scalp. You can do what you want to do. You have to educate yourself. Whatever you decide to do on your hair, you want to write it down. Keep a mental note of it. So I see a question. Hi, Amazonian. Amazonian says, my hair gets matted and knotted. And my kitchen, which is the back of the hair, um, on the nape, it gets so dry and freezy. So if your hair gets matted, at the point that your hair gets matted, that is your hair telling you that you're not moisturizing it well enough or you are not moisturizing it often enough or you're using the wrong product. So only you can deduce what you are doing wrong. So when you moisturize your hair, let me give you an example, okay? So this is a demonstration. So this is my hair and I did moisturize it this morning, but I just wanna use this as an example. You can see how easily it comes apart. You can see how easily it separates. And it's nice and soft, it's not stiff, it's nice and bouncy, it's not stiff. So if you're going to moisturize your hair, you start off with a liquid. Case in point, you see, um, the if I, this was the oil um, water, so you just put your liquid. So a lot of people, they'll spray their hair with a liquid like this, and that's it. And they're like, oh, my hair is moisturized. No. What's going to happen is that you spray your hair with a liquid like this. Your hair is going to, when you get outside, the sun is going to beat on it. It's going to moisturize it. It's going to be like dry and freezy. So what you do is this. When you spray the hair with the liquid, you massage it in. You see how I'm massaging it in? And you can tell the difference. So I'm massaging it in. I'm going to show you a comparison. You massage it in like that. So this is just the liquid. Now, imagine, this is a comparison. This is my hair. This one, I'm just going to take it. Okay? I'm just going to spray the water. I'm not doing anything with it. You see how nice and plump this one looks? It looks very nice and plump. This one is still stiff. It's very stiff. Nothing happened to it. So you have to massage it in. You do have to massage the liquid in. After that, you can add your oil or you can just take your moisturizer. I'm just going to take a little bit of the moisturizer. Start off at the ends of the hair. So you take your hair, start off at the ends of the hair like this to help reduce the matting that starts at the ends. The ends of the hair is the driest part. 
So you apply, you see, I'm just applying it in, and then you apply through the length of the hair. You don't have to be overly, you know, put so much. Just put a little bit. And if you feel your hair still feels dry, you can add some more. So start off a little bit at a time. It's like making a sauce. When you make a sauce, you don't just pour like two tablespoons of salt in it. You put a little bit, you taste it. Does it taste okay? Then you add more. Now, someone was asking, how many times do you moisturize your hair in a week? It depends on my hair needs. Now, let's say that I was at home. Let's say I moisturized my hair in the morning, okay? And I stayed inside the house. I didn't go anywhere. At night, I check my hair. Does my hair need to be moisturized? If it needs to be moisturized, I moisturize it again. Now, this one doesn't need to be moisturized. I'm just going to twist it up again. Now, let's say that the next day I wake up in the morning, I check my hair again. Does my hair need to be moisturized? I moisturize it. So it's key that you understand how your hair feels. After a while, your hair will start talking to you. Yeah, so your hair talks to you. Trust me, your hair talks to you. So your hair will start talking to you. Okay? So one question. Okay, so Amazonian, thank you so much. Yeah, you see how my hair feels? It feels so well fed. You see this one that I didn't add the, um, the moisturizer to? You notice that it wouldn't shrink as much. You see how this one doesn't shrink as much as this one? Because moisture absorbs. And when it absorbs, it shrinks your hair. Shrinkage is not a bad thing, people. Shrinkage is not a bad thing. Shrinkage is actually good. So you see, this one that I didn't add too much moisture to, it's going to dry out faster than this one that I just moisturized. I'm going to bring go forward. You can see the plumpness of this versus this one. You see? There's a difference. Hopefully, the camera can catch it well. So that is the key thing. Now, there are different moisturizers out there. Remember, I told you that there's this kind of moisturizer, a daily moisturizer. There's also some moisturizers that contain silicone. Now, silicone is not always bad. It's not always bad. Sometimes silicone actually has a way of, um, of letting your hair hold on to some form of moisture more. So this product that I showed you, this is the soft... And oh, thanks. <laughs> so, this product that I showed you, this is the Soft Sheen and Carson. I'm going to make it a bit bigger. Wave Nouveau Moisturizing Finishing Lotion. Now, this product, I actually have, I didn't bring it out here. Um, it's one of those ones that you can spray in the hair, it's like a liquid kind of moisturizer. So, if you're someone that your hair is not as thick, your hair could do better with a liquid moisturizer because some creams, some butters can really um, weigh down your hair. So if your hair is less coarse, your hair is more on the softer, fine side, I'm not talking about thin hair. I'm just talking about fine hair. You can do okay with just getting a spray moisturizer. So a spray moisturizer would work perfectly for you. So moving along, the next thing that I also want to talk about is talking about moisturizers. Uh, I see some, okay, so Sharon says that, um, she says, uh, let's go, let's go, let's go. So Sharon says, um, oh gosh, let me get my glasses. And we're going to finish my makeup. <laughs> but one thing I don't understand is what can I do if my scalp gets itchy? Now, this is the thing. I personally don't put a lot of things in my scalp. Um, when I add my oils to my scalp, I'll do them like maybe on wash day, uh, very sparingly. Uh, if your scalp gets itchy, how long before your scalp gets itchy? That's one key thing. Because sometimes when my scalp starts getting itchy, that's the sign that it is time to wash my hair. That is what I take that for. If your hair gets itchy, if you're not drinking enough water, hydrating, mm -hmm. that can happen. Hi, Melvin. Welcome. 
So that can happen also. So those are some key things that can happen that can cause your scalp to get um, itchy also. So you have to be very, very mindful of that. Now, if your scalp is itchy and it's not time to wash your hair, you can use uh, your oil mix. You can add a little bit of peppermint oil to it and massage it, massage it. Now, let me tell you something. Castor oil, this is one thing a lot of people don't know. Jamaican black castor oil works as a detoxifier. So if you're new to using Jamaican black castor oil, it is possible that your scalp can get itchy from using the Jamaican black castor oil. So the next thing I selected was the cream of nature. Now, cream of nature, um, let me pop it up on the screen right over here. It's not as expensive as, <laughs> I'll tell you, um, yeah, let me, let me take this off. <laughs> the cream of nature is not as expensive as the TGIN, but let me just explain to you one thing. It has a big pack. I mean, what I mean is that it holds onto, it helps with moisture. It's really good with moisture and it lasts a long time. It's quite thick. It's quite thick. Now, one thing that I like about it is that it contains honey. Now, if you don't know, honey is a game changer. If you're someone that you suffer from dry hair, using honey in your home remedies, using honey in your hair um, sparingly, Okay, don't douse your hair in honey. Using honey in your hair can actually help to lock in that moisture because honey has two properties. It acts as an umectant and an, as an emollient. Two properties. So when you are shopping around for hair products and stuff and you find a moisturizer that contains honey, just know that you are in for moisturized hair if you use it accordingly. So case in point, the first one that I showed you, the TGIN Daily Moisturizer, it also contains honey. Honey is actually the second ingredient in the list of this. So this works really well. The difference is just the price point. Now, hi, Suzette. Wow, welcome, Savannah. Thank you so much, Savannah, for following. I appreciate you. Amazon customer, thank you so much for following. I appreciate you a lot. We're still putting on the makeup, even though I don't think I need makeup. I look fine, eh? I look fine. So, yeah. Okay. So, um, Suzette says, what moisturizing cream did you feature a few minutes ago after spraying your hair? So, I'm going to select it. This was the TGIN that I featured. I'm going to bring that back on the screen so that you can see it. I, I mean, I'm so in love with this. I've been using this now for um, a few weeks, and I am so in love with it. So this is the TGIN Miracle Repair Curl Food Daily Moisturizer for Natural Air. This stuff, so good. It is so good. And I'm not just saying that just to say it. I'm saying that because it is that good. Now, I have low porosity hair. And if you know low porosity hair, low porosity hair doesn't absorb moisture well. But this TGIN, if you're not going to get anything today, go get that TGIN on our Amazon page. It's right there. Um, I love it. I love that it lasts for a long time. See, we're just hitting pen. Right there, you can tell that I've been using it a lot. And a little bit goes a long way. So I hope that helps you. Um, Mo, yay! Hi, Mo. How are you doing? It's so nice to see you. I'm going to be coming live every Friday. So I hope you guys can join me. Oh, wow. We got another person following this wood one. Welcome to Discovery Natural Family. So welcome. And um, Amazonian says, yes, we have um nerve extensions to our hair our hair is saying thank you for, <laughs> for sharing your welcome you're welcome your hair is saying thank you yeah so Suzanne says thanks my daughter has very curly hair that loves water so if your daughter's hair loves water i will suggest let me suggest what you should get so i'll suggest that you get liquid moisturizers um you can use water you can use plain water but when you use a liquid moisturizer, try and get a little cream to just lock it in. So the TGIN works really, really well. Give it a try and you'll thank me later. Yeah. Wow. 
Yeah, <laughs> thank you. So I put on my makeup. I'm going to complete my makeup. I put on my makeup. Now I have this. This is the Anastasia Renaissance palette. I'm going to select it. So I have the Anastasia Renaissance palette. Yeah, I just selected it and highlighted it. You can find it on our Amazon page. Now, I love this palette. Can you tell? Can you tell which, which color do I love the most? <laughs> I absolutely love it. I love it because even without using my primer, um, <laughs> hi, goodness. Goodness is like second time catching you. Goodness, were you with me this morning? You were with me this morning, right? Uh-huh. Orini, Orini, or Orini, how are you doing? Hi, hi, hi. Now, Lively says, so are certain chemicals actually okay for our hair strand? Um, I stay away from store-bought brands because of so many chemicals. The chemicals and the products in, the chemicals in products, they have their own job. So I always advise people when you're going to buy a hair product, do your research. Go in and read what it's doing. A lot of them, sometimes when they add chemicals into hair products, most of them is meant to like emulsify and stabilize the natural products so that the natural products last longer. So that is the job of a lot of um, the chemicals in there. And a lot of chem having chemicals in your hair products doesn't necessarily mean that it is bad. Okay, so if the product contains things like um, cetyl alcohol, those kind of alcohols, they're good. They're good alcohols in the hair. They're bad alcohols in the hair. You have to educate yourself. I always tell everybody, I always say, you have to be the person to educate yourself. I'm just using my eye primer. You have to educate yourself so that you don't miss out because not all, you know, I do, their, trust me, I do DIYs. But I also use products that I know that when I use them, can you guys tell that it's date night? <laughs> I won't wear makeup until it's date night. It's date night tonight. I tell Obi, I'm like, it's date night. I've been cooking all this week. You take me out to it. <laughs> so you're welcome, Suzette. You're welcome. So I'm just going to use a little bit of color. I always use the same color. So let's, I'm just going to take a little bit of color not too ash so let's go you guys want to see my please ignore my eyebrow ignore my eyebrow so i'm just going to take this color just because it matches what i'm wearing and i'm just going to put let's dab 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 on that eye so i'm just going to dab 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 i don't know how to put on makeup i just wing it i just wing it who is like me who is like me and not afraid to tell that they don't know how to put on makeup. They just have fun. And the people say, oh, I love your makeup. And you're like, mm -hmm. yeah, you really love my makeup. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so the thing about dry hair, another tip about dry hair that I would tell you is that sometimes when we use too much products in our hair, it actually causes our hair to get drier than it's supposed to be. So I'm gonna use a little bit of this color. I'm using the same brush. I am not one of these people that, oh, use a different brush. I'm like, oh, girl, I don't care. <laughs> I'm taking a darker color on top and I'm just putting that right over here. Woo, too much, too much. Uh, I look like an Oompa Loompa. <laughs> so, I should rename myself the girl that doesn't know how to put on makeup. <laughs> Let's move away. Let's move away. So, yeah, that's, that's how much you're going to get, you guys. I'm not really. <laughs> makeup is all about experimenting and having fun. Yes, yes. Thank you so much, Mo. I just, I, I don't, I, I, I don't even know why I put on makeup sometimes because I'm just like, girl, <laughs> it makes me feel as if I'm a grown up. <laughs> Hi, Evil. Evil says, I have no idea how to apply makeup, girl. I watch this makeup artist, people. I'm like, uh huh, uh huh. I'm never going to do that. Oh, that looks pretty. I'm never, ever going to do that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, the only thing about my makeup, whenever I put on makeup, is I like a good eyeliner. Yeah. Oh, 
Charlene says, what is my name? My name is Shola. Very easy. Shola. Shola. And my full name is Oluwani Shola. It's God that does wonders. It is God that does wonders. So my name is Shola. So welcome. It's so nice to meet you, Pauline. For those that are just joining, my name is Shola. So, um, but you can find me. People, 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 the people pretty much know me as Discovering Natural. And I'm such a goofball sometimes. I just do whatever and um I just wing it. Now, where is See, this is what happens when you have teenagers. I have two teenage daughters, 13 year old, 16 year old. Oh my goodness, you all, I forgot to tell you. So if you guys have been coming and watching me, you already know about my daughter. Hi, Bree Bree, hey, Bree Bree is here. So if you know my daughters, I have a 13 year old and I have a 16 year old. My 16 year old started working this week. First day she went to work, she was like, hey, I'm going to work. She was so hyper. She was excited to go to work. The second day she was still excited. She she works at a fast food restaurant. <laughs> that was the only place that would employ her. And then, oh, thank you, Asia. She likes my skin. Thank you. <laughs> so um, she started working and the first day she was excited. The second day she was like, she was like, oh, okay, oh, I made friends. And I'm like, good for you. The third day, which was Wednesday, she came back, I picked her up from work. She was like, I am so tired. I'm like, sorry, babe. She's like, oh, it's so hard. People were asking me so many things, placing order, and I made a mistake. And my boss wasn't mad, but I made a mistake. I'm like, well, that's adulting. You're adulting now. So that was Wednesday. Thursday, you know she could still talk. Thursday, I pick her up from work. I pack in front of her workplace. She walks in. I'm like, hey, babe, how are you? Hmm. How was work? Hmm. Can we just go home? And I was like, oh. <laughs> she got home. She ate. And I didn't see her again till this morning. <laughs> she was so tired. She was like so tired. And I'm like, so this morning I was dropping off at work and I'll tell you how long she works for. Okay. She's 16 years old. She works at a fast food restaurant and I'll tell you how long she works for. Um, you can see everything on my family channel, DN Vlogs Live. Okay. So today I was dropping off at work and I was like, how are you feeling? How are you doing? She's like, hmm. I'm like, well, I'm like, I know it's tough. Um, it's just part of life. It's part of being an adult. This is what happens. Um, you work in a fast food restaurant. You work with different people. She's like, yes, mom, it's kind of hard. I say, yes, I know, baby, it's hard. But, you know, get your education so you can get a better job. <laughs> you know, so that you can pick your hours and do all that stuff. And she's like, oh, can you just, can we just wait in the parking lot for a little while? And we talked and I said, okay, now you can do it. Go for it. You know, you just, just go for it. So how long do you think my daughters are working for my oldest daughter? So my oldest daughter, she only works for four hours. Yes. It's a standing job. So four hours. And she, I was just like, girl, she was, so she asked me a question. She said, mommy, how long is full like a full work schedule. I said, well, the normal full work schedule is like eight hours. Um, mommy doesn't work for eight hours. Mommy works 24 hours. <laughs> so she said, oh, she's like, um, but if somebody has to take half time, you know, if you work part time, how many hours is that? I said, oh, part time could be four hours. She's like, oh, I said, so you're already working part time. I said, and I said, well, you can do part part time, which is two hours. And she went, no, I can't do that. And I said, she said, I said, how much are you making? She said, she's making eight fifty an hour. She's like, well, that wouldn't work. <laughs> I felt I my mommy gods came out. My mommy, you know, my mommy at, atmosphere came out where I wanted to just tell her like, quit the job, you know, just quit the job and just have fun at the beach with your friends and stuff. And I had to stop myself because I'm like, what am I trying to teach my child to give up? No, we can't do that. So she will work and she will learn. And the good news is all our friends, except one, 
is working. So all our friends are working and our friends are actually working more hours than she is. So, you know, she has nothing to complain about. Yeah, four hours a day, how many days a week? Okay, now that is the caveat. Since she's still in training, she has to do seven days this week and six days next week. And then after that, she can now get lower time. But you know, for me, if she was at home, she's going to be whining like, oh, I'm so bored. Oh, mommy. I just And she was looking for a job for the longest time. And I'm so glad that she has this experience. It's not a bad place to work for. And it's not a fast food restaurant that so many people go to. It's not like, you know, like your McDonald's, your Burger King. This fast food restaurant is like a mama, just a small restaurant. And it doesn't, not so many people come there. <laughs> so I'm like, girl, you're lucky. So um, TJN just bought. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you so much, Amazonian, for buying the TGIN. You all check out that TGIN. And um, thank you, Momo says, kudos, mom. Um, kudos, daughter. It's a great experience that she is going to appreciate. I feel she will appreciate it. So what she wants to do in terms of work um, is to... Um, be a dentist so she wants to be a dentist so um yeah so she just has to and she has actually when she was 15 years old she worked as a apprentice at the dentist office so she was helping them with like arranging the tools and stuff but because of cove you know she can't do that anymore and it was at a friend's place so it's you know she has tasted the professional life and now she's tasting the fast food restaurant life. And it's just, oh, but she looks cute in her outfit. So, yeah. Oh, Nikki was going to ask about the girls. Yeah, Pauline says, Shola, I like your, mater oh, your materials. Thank you. I just started watching me. Oh, thank you. You're awesome. Oh, thank you, Pauline. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. <laughs> I just felt so sad for her. I was just, I would have just like, you can stop working now. You don't have to work. And I didn't, you don't have to work. You can stop working. But okay, let's move on to, I'm going to use my eyeliner. But while I'm moving on to my eyeliner, we are talking about what else we can use in terms of moisturizing our hair. Now, I mentioned to you that oils are not moisturizers, right? Okay. We already know that oils are not moisturizers, but we know that there's some kind of oils that when you use them the right way, they act like a moisturizer. Case in point, vitamin E oil. When you buy a lot of products, you will see vitamin E oil there. And the name that you want to look for, when you see vitamin E oil, even in this product here, you want to look at the ingredient area and you want to look for something that says topo something. <laughs> I cannot pronounce it. It starts with T-O-P-O. I cannot pronounce it, but that is vitamin E oil. Vitamin E oil is a good moisturizing oil. Other good moisturizing oils like argan oil, sweet almond oil. Um, on my Amazon page, I have a full playlist of oils. So let me, sh so you can use that. Now, there's also the famous Jamaican black castor oil. Yes, Jamaican black castor oil is very good and acts really well as a great sealant. So who can use Jamaican black castor oil? Let me do my eye. I'm going to totally mess this up if I keep on talking. So give me a break. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Messed up that. So I'm going to totally mess it up if I don't stop, stop gabbing. That's it. Okay. You can go thicker. And I never put it below my eye. I never, ever put it. So my live chats are very laid back. They're very as if you are talking to your girlfriend. So feel free to ask me any questions about hair, about life in general. I love chatting. Mm -hmm. So how many of you put on eyeliner? Are you an eyeliner kind of person? What do you think about eyeliners? Hmm. Okay, that's it. So I usually do an eyeliner and then I usually go and I use my mascara on top of it. So I'm going to let this dry and set. So you can see, I'm going to bring it closer. My eyeliner is not the best, but it will do, right? It will do. Okay. 
So the thing about casserole is this. A lot of people will just put casserole on their scalp to grow their edges, to up grow their hair. Um, Lively said that it's amazing you can apply highliner without holding your eyelids. Do people do that? So people do, I don't know how people do that, Lively. I really don't know how people do that. Okay, so this is the thing with Jamaican black castle oil, which I don't have here. So the Jamaican black castle oil that I'm loving, when I mean loving, I mean really, really loving. The liquid one, this is the treasure, rooted treasure. This stuff is pure. It has, it's also black owned if you're into getting black owned products. Um, it's made in Jamaica itself. It contains no salt. A lot of Jamaican black castle oil contains salt. I don't know why they add salt, but a lot of them contain salt. This one has no salt. It's 100% natural. It lasts a long time. Okay, it lasts a long, long time. So a couple of ways that I use it, I even, um, I believe I do have a video on my Amazon page if you guys want to see how I'm using it. So let me quickly go there. I'm going to go there and I'm going to show you right yeah let me see i'm gonna see if it's on the main page because sometimes videos that i put out amazon might put it on the main page so right there let's see mm, okay they've not yet put it so you just take a little bit of it so if you go let's go back to my amazon page so on my amazon page yeah this here Okay. So this is how I use it. A couple of ways that I use it. So this is the Jamaican black castle oil. It's a thick oil. Now, just to let you know that the Jamaican black castle oil acts as a detoxifier. So if you are not familiar with using Jamaican black castor oil in your hair, what's going to happen is that your hair might itch you just a little bit. It has a naughty scent to it. A very naughty scent to it. Hi, David. Welcome. You have, oh, good. Amazonian says that she has that brand and she loves it. Yes. You use it to grow your eyebrow and eyelashes. Yes, yes, yes. So you're going to watch. I'm going to show you how to also use it to grow your eyelashes. So a couple of things is that you just apply it. First, put some liquid on your hair, on your scalp before you apply it. So if you have dry scalp, this works really well. Um, especially when it's diluted with a lighter oil. So you just put it on your problem areas, especially areas where you tend to lose hair, and then you can just massage it in there. So this is also another way you can use it to grow your eyelashes and eyebrow. So you can get an empty mascara um, container. You can buy that on Amazon. Pour your Jamaican black casserole into it like that, and then you take the wand like that. And once you take the wand in there, you can now use the wand and use it to, um, does it have Bluetooth connectivity? <laughs> no, dear, it doesn't have Bluetooth connectivity. I don't know what you're talking about. Um, <laughs> so you just use it and you massage it, put it on your eyelashes and it helps with growing your eyelashes. So that is one way you can surely grow your eyelashes. So just massage it in there, okay? And you can use it also to grow your eyebrow by applying it gently like that. And it's really, really, I love, I love it. It's really, really good. Um, so when it comes to your hair itself, now with your hair itself, when you're gonna use the Jamaican black castor oil, since it's a liquid, you can put it to the ends of your hair to lock in that moisture, okay? You put it to the ends of your hair to lock in the moisture. So remember, we're talking about this oil in particular. We're not talking about electronics for those people talking about <laughs> I don't know. Oh yeah. So um, now let me explain some things to you. I'm seeing some people put out comments and stuff. Um, Someone asked the question, Lady B, she says, please, what can I use to substitute darkened seed extract? I don't know what that is. Sorry, I can't help you with that. I don't know what that is. Uh, Petroria, hey, hi, she, she has it and she hasn't used it before. Give it a try. This stuff is good. 
Um, Jacqueline, Jacqueline says, hello, I appreciate your program. Hello, Jacqueline, how are you doing? So Jacqueline says, um, because she likes my program, because it helps many women to grow their natural hair. And I'm going to be here every day you come on live so that I can learn how to do my dam oh, for my damage hair. Yes, and Jackie, um, Jacqueline, if you have Facebook, join my Facebook group. It's called Discovery Natural Group. And I really, we can help you with your hair and so much stuff. Lively Stone says, oops, I was applying to dry hair. Girl, don't apply to dry hair. You want to first spray your hair with some liquid and then apply the product to it. Um, Suzette, hi, Angel. Angel, how are you doing? Angel is new. Angel, I hope you are following. Click the follow button. Thank you so much, Angel. Thank you so much for joining. And Suzette says, do you have any recommendation for shampoo and conditioners for my daughter, um, curly hair. So first question I would say is that what is going on with the shampoo you're using? So if I hear it's curly, you might want to use more moisturizing shampoos. So I'm going to bring up my Amazon page and I'll show you some things that you can, I will recommend for you, for your curl, daughter's curly hair. So let's bring up the Amazon page right now and we'll do recommendations. And this is partly what I do during the lives also. So this is our Amazon page. And you want to go to the shampoo section. I made it so easy for you. Oh, Mo, thank you. Mo says that she has learned so much from me. Oh, thank you, Mo. You're such a treasure. Thank you so much. So when you go down here to the shampoo section, right here, you see all kinds of um, shampoos here. When the hair is curly, you want to gravitate less towards drying ingredients. So one of the products like Inasi, Inasi's shampoos are really good. So you can give this a try. And this is a gentler kind of shampoo. So this shampoo, it has a minty. So the only thing is that it has a minty feel. So you have to be very careful not to get in the eye, but it's sulfate free. So you can give that a try. Remember the Inasi all their products, they work hand in hand together. So you can get the Inasi product, okay? That's the shampoo. So now um, I'll also show you the conditioner. So let's go to a conditioner. So if you want, uh, there are different kind of conditioners. They're like co-wash conditioners. So middle of the week, if you just want to cleanse our hair gently, cleanse our hair, you can also get the Inasi co-wash. This is also a very gentle co-wash. This is really, really good. It's good for curly hair. It's actually good for all hair type, but it's a very gentle product. Um, they also have a deep conditioner. So if you go here, scroll through, go to the deep conditioner part. And the reason why I'm saying get products that work and in hand together get is because if something goes wrong, you can identify that, oh, maybe it's the brand, maybe it's blah, blah, blah. So this is the Nasi. Nasi also has deep conditioners. Did I add it in here? Um, I didn't. But I'm going to, I'm going to, let me, let me add it in there for you guys really, really quickly. So give me a second and I'm going to quickly add in Nasi. Nasi just also has um, a deep conditioner, okay? It's like a mango deep conditioner hair mask. So I'm going to add it in there and I'm going to show you. So I'm going to add it into the deep conditioner section. Give me a second. And I love, love, love. When you come back and you tell me that, oh, I started using this product and it works great. I love that. So give me one second. Where's my deep conditioner? Oh, there you are. Okay. So moving along, we're going to go back. Let me show you. I've added it in. I'm going to go back to the deep conditioners and it's right there. So this one is also a good one. Okay. So, yeah. So just to let you guys know, that is, give the Nasi brand, I've, I've seen so many people with curly hair, even with natural hair, use it and they've used it consistently and they work well together. Um, yeah. So I see, oh, yeah, thank you, Amazonian. Give those a try, and I'm glad that you asked. Thank you, everyone. If you guys are asking um, what other products, you know, I can give you suggestions of products. 
Uh, also, Suzette says, thank you so much. I'm about to get this product. Swimming is rough on our hair. Yes. If you if your child is swimming, swim cap. <laughs> swim cap will save your life. But if they can't wear a swim cap, what you want to do is that get your co-wash. If they swim all the time, just co-wash their hair afterwards. And then end of the week, do a good shampoo cleansing. Because I remember when my kids were doing swimming lessons every, every day, the swim cap, we didn't have a good swim cap, the water was getting their hair, and co-washing saved the day. So I was talking about Jamaican black castor oil. Um, so one other thing about Jamaican black castor oil is that there's also a Jamaican black castor oil that acts as a butter. It's the way they mixed it. This is the Sunny Owl Jamaican black castor oil. I'm going to pop it up on the screen so that you all can see it. So this one acts as a hair border and it's very, very thick, people. This one is so thick. You're welcome, Brilini. Thank you so much. Yeah, so the uh, it's, it's a thick, thick border. So this one, it's, it's really holds on to moisture. If your hair gets dry easily, especially if you are high porosity, what's going to happen is that your hair will lose moisture. So you want something like a barrier. So using a butter or shea butter or something on top of it helps. Now, glycerin is also something else that people use. Now, you have to be careful with glycerin because if you live in somewhere that is super, super dry, glycerin will make your hair even drier. And if you're someone that you're doing your hair in a twist out style, uh, it might not last that long because glycerin takes the moisture, especially if it's summer right now, moisture is in the hair. The glycerin will take the moisture from outside and put it in your hair and your twist out will be poofed out. So that's one thing about the thing. Now, one good tip, one tip I would like to share with you guys about moisturizing tip. We've talked about use water, use a cream, use a butter. But do you realize that not properly cleansing your hair can be the issue? If you have product buildup in your hair, your hair is not going to hold on to any of that stuff. Just cancel out everything I said. Cancel it, cancel it, cancel it. You need to detox your hair. If you want to detox your hair really, really well, naturally, to let your hair get all the product gets removed naturally try bentonite clay okay so we're adding that to the list yeah so try a clay bentonite clay so bentonite clay is one of those clays that yes you do have to mix together but it does a very good good job at drawing the toxins out no wonder it's the best seller right now on amazon this bentonite clay, you mix it, you can mix it easily with apple cider vinegar and aloe vera. That's it. If you want to add a little bit of oils, you don't have to. You cooled. After using this, use a deep conditioner. This will remove product buildup from your hair without stripping your hair. If you use a clay and your hair still feels moist, still feels dry, use a, a deep conditioner. So using a bentonite clay is really, really essential, okay? So other things, of course, um, there's different um, hair masks that you can use. Hair masks help more than liquidy, liquidy consistency conditioners, okay? Like a rinse out. Some people will use a rinse out conditioner as a deep conditioner. Don't do that. Find a hair mask. The hair mask... You can get cream of nature. Cream of nature has a good hair mask. The cream of nature pure only line has an excellent hair mask. Now, um, Amazonia says, I never tried this rain. Yeah. So, mm hmm Okay. So is products with glycerin good for people with dry hair? I personally would not use... Um, if, you're, if, it's, if your hair is dry, you could use glycerin, but I'll be very careful because with glycerin, living in somewhere that has uh, less mo uh, moisture in the hair can actually make your hair drier. Other things that I will suggest to you is when you go to bed, another tip is sleep on a silk pillowcase. Sleep on a silk pillowcase. Next, when you deep condition your hair, you can also use a steamer to deep condition your hair. 
And then when you go to bed, of course, you can wear your satin uh, bonnet. Now, I have a question from someone asked this question. Julian, hi, Berlin says that, oh, yeah, you live in um, Hawaii. Let me drink some water. Mm. Julian says, any idea for someone with eczema and allergy issues, hair moisturizer, and hair dyes? Um, I personally will stay away from the hair dyes, just me. Um, you want to look for more natural, natural ingredients. If you have allergy, you might just want to do a test first. Stay away from too many oils. Um, for allergies, oh gosh, let me think, let me think. For eczema, my daughter did have eczema and we switched to using more natural ingredients and that worked for her. Let me see if I have, okay, I'll show you the line that worked well for my daughter that has all natural, it doesn't have all that fragrance in it, all those chemicals in it, in terms of, so you are asking about moisturizing. Okay, so I'll show you, this is one moisturizer that worked really well for her. So if you go to the moisturizer section on my Amazon page, um, this product line, Kadima Organic Beauty product line, this contains all natural. So if you are someone that you want all natural ingredients, this product line is all natural. Now, in this product line, they do have a moisturizer. This marshmallow twisting cream is really, really good. Okay? Ginger is really good for your scalp and is good for your hair. So give this one a try. It's all natural. Um, so this Kadima hairline, um, very, very natural. So I use that for my daughter mostly. Okay, guys, so hi, immediately where I live. Thank you so much, everyone. I am so grateful, you all that came to the live. If you're new, my name again is Shola, okay? I didn't do my lipstick, but um, why don't we just put on the lipstick, okay? So I'm gonna end this with um, my lip liner. Where's my lip liner? My lip liner, I'm using the um, NYX, okay? I'm just going to give you, I'm such a bad makeup person, okay? I'm not, makeup is not my game. Now, talk about hair, mm-hmm, talk about hair, that's my game. I'm going to use this makeup. This is also Essence lipstick, and you see, I don't use so much color. You see how I need a little bit of color, just brightens up your face. I'm so ready for date night. I just have to wait a couple of hours. And then put on a nice pair of earrings. And you are good. You're so welcome, Julian. The first time watching me. Oh my gosh. So every morning I go live on Facebook, Discovery Natural. I go live for nearly two hours, 6 to 8 p.m. Central Time. So I hope you guys can join me. So I think I'm good. I'm going to adjust my hair. I'm going to, it's still dry. So I'm just going to leave it, let it dry and get a good twist out. Thank you guys. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining. I appreciate you guys. Wow, Amazon customer just started following. You all, I want you guys to go to my Amazon page. See the link right there. And I want you to go follow me. Thank you so much. I have like a whole bunch of people that follow and I want you to be part of the family. So I'll see you guys in the next live. Join me again, same place, Friday. It's a date, right? Okay, join me again. Oh, thank you. I feel so young. See, little effort makeup. Nobody will know that this makeup was jacked up. <laughs> I love you guys. You guys stay beautiful. Enjoy your weekend and I love you guys. Bye. Mwah. Take care, guys. Love you. And I appreciate you all. Please, please do not forget to follow our Amazon page, Discovery Natural. Let me pop it up one more time before I leave. This is it. So when you come on the page, all you just have to do is you go amazon.com slash shop slash Discovery Natural. When you come on there, Let's go. So when you come on the page, amazon.com slash discovery natural, 
when you come on there i would just love for you to just click on this follow button you see this follow button it's right there it's right there and then you'll be able to follow thank you so much everyone i love you and i'll see you in the next live chat bye bye lara bye